Hi guys. Okay, so today my daughter Becky, she's my baby Becky. Uh, her and I, uh, she called me this morning, wanted to know if I wanted to do some shopping and have lunch. So that's what we did. So we started out at Walmart. She had a few things to get there. So I did get a few things myself. Um, I bought some Bigelow orange and spice tea. Uh, I like it. And with it being cold in the morning, sometimes it's nice to have a cup of tea besides having coffee. Um, but I really got it for, also for pocket letters. I know my granddaughter loves this brand of tea and I think it would be nice in pocket letters this time of year. Um, I also found, and I've never seen this before, and I, I love everything pumpkin. This is, that is probably my favorite thing about fall is pumpkin stuff. So they had pumpkin spice tea. I don't know if it will be any good, but I thought I would try it. I thought this would also be awesome in fall um, pocket letters, which I am going to start. I'm going to make my first one probably uh, the end of this week. Then I got, I was all at, I use uh, Splenda and I, I got Walmart's brand and it had a little uh, liquid sweetener in there too so you can carry it in your purse. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, I also got three cans of Hunt's uh, chunky vegetable pasta sauce. This is the our favorite one so um, if I don't get this one I usually cut up my own chunky stuff. I even add more into this one but this is the one I get and they're only a dollar a can. Can't beat a dollar a can. Um, oh I got this. I got, it's just for one pot of coffee, hot buttered rum. I thought this would be very tasty as well. I was looking for pumpkin coffee, but there was, of course, they were all out. Except for like Starbucks and stuff, and I'm not paying $7 for a little bag of coffee. Um, I bought this confetti. It's pumpkins and all kind of little, uh, other little tiny orange thing. Little, I don't know if they're bats. I don't know what all is in there. But um, I got this for pocket letters to put in those shaker bags. I thought that would be cute, and that's for low. It was only 97 cents. Okay, I bought. I know I bought more stuff than this. I'm not seeing it. But I bought this big box of Halloween. Pretzel treats. There's 50 bags, and I believe it was like $4.97. Uh, I bought to give my grandson some of them for his class because they can't have cupcakes, cookies, can't they can't have anything normal good stuff. So um, I thought these were cute. They're bat and pumpkin shaped pretzels, and then the rest of them I will use for um, trick or treaters. Okay, I'm sure I'll find the other stuff eventually. Um, hold on a minute, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I found the other things. I knew I had more stuff from Walmart. Um, I bought, and they didn't even get smashed, a bag of whole wheat um, hot dog buns so we can have hot dogs tomorrow night. And I got some bananas. And then, because I could not find any pumpkin creamer, I had to get, and it was fat-free and sugar-free toasted hazelnut. So, um, that sounded good. I thought I'd give this a try. Sorry about the bag crunching. Okay. I think I'm going to do, we went to uh, the Goodwill next, but I think I'm going to do the Meyer one and then put the other one on uh, a different haul because the good, Goodwill one, because uh, I ran over yesterday, so I have to redo all that one because um, I couldn't figure out how to make a longer video. So uh, until I figure it out, it's going to have to be 15 minutes or less. So uh, 
Hang on a second. Let me get the uh, Meyer bag. Okay, I'm back again. Now at Meyer, I found these real pretty little feathers. They were dollar forty nine, and they're all different little colors. And I have something in mind for these. They had pumpkin spice creamer. And I think it was $2.49 for this big bottle. So I am hooked up for creamer for a while. Then I got... These were on clearance for $2.64. And they go in the lids of mason jars. Like so. And you can use them for uh, candles or potpourri. I was going to use them for candles because um, I've made one so far um, mason jar candle but I was going to make some more alright I got some yogurt I never heard of this brand called purple cow and it's blackberry yogurt was the yogurt light non fat yogurt light and I got 75% off so I got four of these for 50 cents I thought that was a great deal oh that was a absolutely fantastic deal. My daughter saw them first and we were both it was just certain flavors so but I like blackberries. And then I bought some more yogurts that I thought we could eat for desserts. This and these are all 80 calories. These are the Light and Fit Dannon uh, Caramel Macchiato Ron's a diabetic and I'm supposed to be doing uh, Weight Watchers so this would be something we could actually have for dessert. Okay, uh, this one is strawberry cheesecake. And this one is banana cream. And caramel apple pie. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the next thing you do is you just have to learn to psych yourself into believing that this is really a caramel apple pie. Um, it's worth it if you want to lose weight or you really need to watch yourself. And last but not least, which is probably one of my most favorite desserts, is Boston cream pie. Yummy. But... Probably one of my most favorite desserts is pumpkin pie. Mm. Yep, I saw it in the restaurant when we had lunch today, and I really wanted it, but I didn't get it. So instead, I bought Chobani's Pumpkin Spice Blended Yogurt. Mmm. Now let's hope that this tastes as good as it sounds and it doesn't taste like <laughs> I hope it does taste good though well guys um, hold on a minute I'm only getting thirsty um, I will say goodbye for now and I will see you a little bit later on I'm going to get things organized here and get them ready for my next haul I also need to get the dinner on the stove warming it up a little bit I made it yesterday so you all take care have a good night and thanks for watching my videos thanks for subscribing to my channel if you're not please subscribe and like and make any comments below and I love you guys all take care